Jim Rowan once famously said that happiness is not something you should design for the future, but happiness is something you should design for the present. It shouldn't be something that you postpone for the future. Let me ask you, are you waiting for retirement to, in order to be happy? Are you waiting for that next pay rise to be happy? Are you waiting for that promotion at work to be happy? Because normally, those material things will not grant you happiness. And a lot of people wait until they retire in order to be happy. But come retirement time, they realize they've got all this money and cars, but they don't achieve true happiness. And this is why today I am willing to share with you the one tip that me and other successful people do to become happy in any point of their life, no matter how you know, financially free you are, no matter how financially poor you are, no matter where you are in life, you can live a life of happiness. And please stay tuned towards the end of this video where I'll be revealing that one tip. And I encourage you all to stay tuned because that one tip is what changed my life. And it's all right, by the way, if I share with you a story when before I was not very happy. If yes, please comment yes into the comments box below. And for those who are tuning in, please state which country you're tuning in from and I'll give you a shout out. So, so my story began a few years ago when I was looking for my graduate job. And I remember my parents telling me, Matthew, to be happy in this world, you've got to have money, you've got to have a big house, you've got to have a nice family, and normally you've got to wait until you retire to be happy. So this is what my friends and family used to tell me. As once you tick all those criteria, you'll become happy. And I thought to myself, oh, all right, yeah, that must be true because everyone's saying it. And so I lived the life a few years ago, stating, okay, I must work hard for the next 40 years to retire with money and that's when I'll be happy and guess what every single day I work in my graduate job I was really unhappy I remember Monday I hated Sunday nights all the time I remember I hate commuting to work every single day and I hate it every single moment of it because what was on my mind back then was I need to drive that Mercedes to be happy I need that $1 million mark salary to be happy. I need the six figures to be happy. I need to get promoted to be happy. I need to wait till 65 until I'm happy. All of these things, I was telling myself, look, I have to achieve it to be happy. Because isn't that what success is? To have all of those things with me? And so I lived by that, those values for almost a year. Just slaving at work, not looking forward to work at all loving Fridays and weekends and hating Sunday nights. That was my pattern. And I remember my parents and my fiance used to say to me, Matthew, why are you so unhappy and stressed all the time? And I'm like, I don't know, I'm just working hard. Isn't that normal? So, and after that, I came to realize, look, I'm living someone else's life right now. I'm living the life of my friends and family, what they believe I, how I should live life. And that was when I had my paradigm shift. I was like, why am I living someone else's life when I can live my own? Because everyone, you only have one life. One life. And it's your choice. Everyone has a choice to go live the life that they choose to live. Not the life of the parents. Not the life of whatever your friends are telling you to do. Not the life of what your partner told you to do. It's your choice. And after I realized that quote from my mentor, I immediately started to take control of my life, being the pilot of my life. Remember, successful people, they always take control of their life. They don't let life run them, they run their lives. And this is why they are successful in creating a life of happiness and abundance. And so after that, I began to shift my, my view on life and I've taken control of my life. I decided to invest in myself. I decided to network with successful people. I decided to form community groups. And this has led to me 
happy life. Every day, even though I don't have that massive big house, even though I don't have one billion dollars, I'm still happy because of the rules which I impose on myself, which I'll discuss later on. And this is the one exercise which you can do to design that life of happiness and abundance. Now, before I reveal to you the rules, I would like to go through a bit of psychology because what you perceive right now is your reality. So for example, I used to think that retirement is the only part of my life that I'll be happy. And I lived by that perception for so long and I was depressed. I understand what it's like to not feel happy right now. Some of you may be thinking, Matthew, I'm a bit lost here. I don't believe that I'm living life to its truest. There's something missing. And normally this comes from here, the chest, the heart. What that normally indicates is misalignment. Your heart and your head, they are misaligned. What was that? Misaligned. Which means that what your intuition is telling you is not the same as what your head is telling you. So what your other people's um, opinions of life, what they're telling you about life is misaligned. And this is why you get that empty feeling that you get sometimes when you're at home, you're contemplating life and you think that life is very difficult because of that. If you're experiencing that right now, please comment yes in the comments box below because part of learning about this process is the willingness to be vulnerable. So I want you to comment yes if you're feeling a bit lost, not very happy in your life because this is you acknowledging that yes, I want to change my life. And without you actively participating, without you making that commitment to your mind, you will not change unfortunately. And you will just view this video and continue on with your life I don't want that to happen. This is why I'm raising awareness right now to everyone. Now, back to psychology. Your mind, you gotta believe that you're happy. This might sound odd, but you gotta believe you're happy right now. So what I like to do is set myself rules as to when I'll be happy. So this is the important point. Repeat again, set yourself rules as to when you'll be happy. So for example, for myself, I allow myself to be happy when I see all these lovely comments on my live video saying thank you Matthew for the advice because for me I like helping others and I get the sense of fulfillment when I see others thanking me that, that they've changed a lot in their life that they made progress I've got this fam I've got this community member who has started to run because they saw my quote on the community page an inspirational quote and he ran that day after seeing that because he realized he wasn't in control of his life. Now he wants to take action. And to me, that really uplifts my day every day. So if you're experiencing some change, some positive impact in your life because of my videos, please let me know because it truly makes my day. And this is how I become happy every day, not because I want those material and extrinsic goals, buying a house, you know, getting a million dollar mark, whatever. I follow my intrinsic goals, what my values are, what, what I value out of life essentially. So what you can do guys to design the life you want is impose different rules. So, do, so if you're, for example, if you want to, in order to be happy, let's say or you want to find yourself a girlfriend or boyfriend, well that is, that may be imposing a rule whereby it may, it may take years, months of unhappiness to achieve that. Does that make sense? So what you have to do is design some rules so that you can experience happiness every day. So what I like to do is when I wake up, I make, I make myself a rule, I'm happy. Why? Because I'm grateful to be alive right now. I'm grateful to be alive, that's why I'm happy. So every day I start my life happy. Another example is when I see my family, every day. I tell myself I'm happy when I see my family because for all of us, we may, we may take our family for granted. So I always appreciate the time I spend with them. So all of these little things, these rules that impose on my happiness. So when I experience those events, my mind immediately goes happy. 
and this takes training and time to embed into your subconscious mind because your conscious mind they stick immediate gratification they stick those new cars the new home all of all of those material things it will resist and it is your choice to tell your unconscious mind it's your duty to tell your unconscious mind no don't listen to the conscious mind you should listen to me you should go for those intrinsic goals what makes you happy and these are the rules that i want you to listen to to become happy and that is how you re reprogram your mind and there is an exercise which i go through with my mentees on how to literally restructure the whole psychology so that they can experience happiness anytime but today i'm just sharing with you this tip which is the biggest one setting yourself different rules so that you can experience happiness at any time so make sure you write down those rules in front of you and then see whether they make sense and whether they align with where you are at life right now so guys thank you for tuning in to the end i hope this helps you in some way and if you really enjoyed this content please give me some likes and love hearts and if you do have that friend or family member who needs help in achieving in experiencing some happiness in, in their time maybe they're a bit down maybe they're a bit uncertain as to where they are please share this video with them right now because life is about paying it forwards to those you treasure thank you very much again for listening and i'll see you on the next video soon